tonight I'm going to be talking to you about wintertime and clouser minnows. Now I'm not actually going to tie a fly this evening because I think you can find some really good videos of how to tie a clouser minnow on one of the other YouTube channels. Um, that's not what the focus is going to be. What we do need to discuss is all the big large uh, clouser minnows that you typically use in the summer um, you tend to downsize in the winter. Now right now the bonita are out there, the mackerel are out there, uh, the snook have moved in off the beaches and are mo staging to move into the back. You know redfish are still around etc uh, etc et but you tend to downsize the baits because the bigger bait has left. Uh, you want to stick with something that's a little bit smaller. So, in that vein, um, right here we have a purple and black clouser. This is on a number four Dairiki hook. Um, this one is a good profile fly. You know, I always say, think about the tarpon time. In the, in the mornings, real early and then the latter part of the day or if the day is very overcast sometimes a dark profile style fly is the best thing now this could be black and orange uh, all purple uh, it could be uh, black and brown or brown and orange uh, you know, just a little bit darker color for the profile for early in the mornings, late in the afternoons, and again on those uh, over heavily overcast days. Now we're going to talk about the beach fly. This is a another clouser. This one is tied with uh, the angel hair material in a pearl green on top and a silver holograph on the bottom. The Benita key in on on the smaller bait offshore um, and a number four clouser again is a very good idea. By the way um, I tend to do uh, black and white eyes on on these rather than the reds that I usually run on uh, the typical summertime patterns. I like the natural uh, black and white. This is just a pretty simple fly. You can get hanks of uh, angel hair, you know, really inexpensively, and you know, a little bit goes quite a long ways. Again, this is a good uh, for the bonito, uh, a little offshore. On the uh, same vein, we've got the uh, olive and white. I've always been very fond of an olive and white fly uh, as a natural presentation. Now, this is again out of angel hair, but uh, again for Benita. For the nearer shore, right now the winter you find that a lot of uh, mackerel show up. Now mackerel are just really good at destroying small clousers. So rather than tie the clouser on a short shank hook and tie it all the way up to the eye, think about tying it way back. That little bit of extra wire will make a big difference on whether or not you get cut off by the mackerel. Um, again, this one is tied out of that cane callon, the wig hair that I use. Um, and the flash in this one, again, is the angel hair instead of a typical flash boo or crystal flash. Um, really like this uh, tied back like this. And this uh, king callon is very reminiscent of super hair. It's pretty tough. It's not quite as coarse. 
it doesn't have that little fine kink in it. Uh, this is a nice slick, you know, smooth hair. This uh, King Calon can be found in any ethnic beauty supply at very inexpensive prices. You can get huge hanks of this stuff for around four bucks or less. Um, if you go online, I, I think you can find this stuff for about two forty nine a hank, and a hank will tie many hundreds of clousers. Uh, olive color is a little bit more difficult to find, but there are, is a whole. I think there was one uh, site I found online for the King Island that had like ninety six different colors, so color choice isn't a problem. Um, you might notice also on this one, right here, right behind the collar, is uh, instead of the white thread that I'm using up here at the head, I actually tie the white stage first, and before I put the flash on it on the other side, I actually whip finish my white and put in some uh, red metallic size A rod wrap thread. This is, a, a, like I say, the metallic. Um, it's just kind of an interesting way to highlight that and it uh, kind of represents a gel. You're going to see it on the rest of the flies that I show you tonight. Now again, chartreuse and white. This is calf tail again number four clouser. This is probably the gold standard um, of clousers for uh, just wintertime trout fishing etc. inshore. Um, this will also work on the uh, offshore. You can also tie the the, the white and uh, olive in the calf tail for the offshore for the uh, little tuna or bonita. Um, again, see that red 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 rod wrap thread. Um, I also use on these, they, they oftentimes, I've seen these referred to as redneck uh, minnows rather than clouser minnows because of that red collar. Um, most people just use standard red thread. And the other thing that I wanted to point out, I call these things super clousers. Um, it's got both uh, chartreuse crystal flash and it's also got uh, that mirage accent flash or er, uh, mirage flashaboo in the chartreuse color too. I use that on all of the the so-called super clousers. Again you can't go wrong this is an all white clouser minnow tied out of calf tail. This has got the Mirage Flashaboo in the opal and the Mirage Flashaboo ac accent which is the crystal flash that's made out of the same opal Flashaboo, the twisted type. Doesn't take much. A little bit of white or a, uh, a little bit of this goes a long ways because it's so bright in the water. Again, the red thread around the collar. Now, I'm very partial to bendbacks. Some guys tie their clousers all on one side uh, with no hair on the bottom of the hook, but just hair on the top of the hook. But if you're going to do that, you might as well put the small bend in this, make it a bend back. If you don't understand the dynamics of a bend back, please go back to the, one of my earlier videos discussing on how to bend these hooks and why it's really important how they're bent. Because if you over bend them, you'll never catch a fish. So, here again, all white clouser, same material, same flash, the red eyes, the red thread in the, on the collar and in a bend back. Uh, here's the same thing again. This is a chartreuse in white in the bend back. 
the red thread on the collar, the same chartreuse mirage accent, and the same crystal flash chartreuse. Now, the last one that I want to discuss with you is one that I sell on my website called the Tampa Bay Clouser. I just so happened to be out of them because I put a whole bunch of them in the mail this morning and I didn't realize that I didn't have any more. The, uh, that one is, again, it's tied on a number four uh, straight shank hook, not a bend back. Uh, instead of using the 532nd lead, I use 532nd gold brass, uh, the brass eyes and olive calftail or brown it can be either one but it's usually olive as the underwing a uh, gold holographic or a uh, gold crystal flash in the middle and then the wing on top this is what makes it a little different is peacock curl now don't be afraid to pack on a, a bunch of peacock curl on the front or on the top of this because you're bound to lose a little bit of it uh, you know the uh, the peacock just isn't as tough as the hair you know it's just you've got to accept that but tied small again this size with the uh, with the uh, peacock curl and the uh, the olive uh, calf tail makes a great wintertime redfish fly for uh, fishing some of the drop-offs and uh, even fishing up on the flats. It's, it's small enough that it doesn't make much of a uh, uh, impact on the, you know, landing on the water. Anyway, just going over again, smaller clousers tend to work better uh, during the winter. Uh, some of the snook flies that we use, uh, the high ties that we use, you know, coming into January, late December, January, February, you know, the bait is just almost microscopic. So we'll actually step down to almost uh, to a size 8 or a size 6 hook. You know, you want to get smaller in the winter. Anyway, just a few tips on wintertime fishing and um, talking about clouds or minnows. Thanks so much.